We all have our moments where we try to get our hands on super cool and awesome mounts to show off to our guildies or to flex in front of our friends, but I'm willing to bet that in the process you guys have encountered maybe one or two or possibly you know several mounts that are just a pain in the ass to farm. In today's video, we will go over 5 annoying mounts to farm in WoW. Now keep in mind, it says 5 annoying mounts, not every annoying mount in the damn history of the known universe to have ever been number 5, the Phosphorescent Drake. This mount is obtained by killing a rare NPC named Aonax in Deepholm, which has been speculated to spawn anywhere between 6 to 22 hours. Now this guy has 6 spawn points where he can appear around the Temple of Earth, which can make farming him pretty damned irritating since you're going to mainly be making loops around the temple for hours at a time, which can easily drive you insane or just flat out discourage you from farming this mount ever again. In addition to this, a rare NPC named Bloodseeker, which is a level 32 bat, shares the spawn timer with Aonax, so when it spawns, it has a lot of people going nuts since they think that it's actually the, the Drake, but in reality, it's just a level 32 bat flying around. This led to the bat being almost as popular as Aonax itself, with people referring to it as the reason for Mount Farmer's heart attacks and as the biggest trolling mob in World of Warcraft. Number 4, the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. In order to get this mount, you have to kill a rare NPC named Alani the Stormborn. However, the thing is, is that Alani is immune until you manage to get rid of a buff on him. In order to get the item needed to get rid of the buff, you have to gather 10 sky shards, form it into a sky crystal, and then use that crystal to make Alani vulnerable to your attacks. The crystals drop off of mobs in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, but the drop rate is so very low, it's below 1%. On average, it takes players 12,000 NPC kills in order to just obtain 10 sky shards to form into a sky crystal, which is a huge pain. Now of course nowadays you can just run around and one shot these guys pretty easily, but the fact that you're dancing with RNG doesn't make it you know, any more appealing. Now this mount, although it is honestly probably the easiest to get on this list, I will say it's one of the most dreadful. It's easy in the sense that if you're continuously farming this, the shards will drop for you inevitably. But it's dreadful in the fact that you have to kill over 12,000 mobs just to get the item needed to kill the boss. And who knows, with someone else's luck, it may only take them 4,000 mobs, but with my luck, it will probably take me 30,000. If I ever want to get this mount, I'll probably just say fuck it and buy it. Number 3, Poseidus. Poseidus is an incredibly hard mount to farm because I farmed Time Lost and Phosphorescent before, or you know, I, I've tried to, but I have to say Poseidus is the one NPC where I encounter tons of people during my farming route. Whenever I make my routes around the zone, I always see people swimming with me, swimming past me, or just AFKing at one of the spawn sites. Most of the time, I even see like level 1 bots just chilling at the spawn location. This is the main reason why this mount is so hard to come by, because of the fact that it is tradable and sellable on the auction house, a lot of people are going to be farming it for the chance of 300k gold or however much it's going for on your server. In Wad, I left my hunter in Vashir for about 2 months and logged in every now and then just hoping that it would spawn the moment I would log in. I wasn't as lucky as Ragtag, who I think also got the mount when he just logged in randomly, either that or he was questing. But going back to Poseidus, the mount in addition to being farmed by tons of players trying to make a quick buck, also has a pretty long respawn time. It's 72 to 120 hours with its spawn time refreshing after a weekly restart or unscheduled maintenance. This means that if you start farming this after a reset on Tuesday and there's maintenance on Wednesday, the spawn timer just got completely refreshed and you are screwed. This in addition to the fact that a ton of people are farming him and the farming location is in Vashir, no doubt makes it absolutely just ass to farm. Number 2, Void Talon of the Dark Star. As if farming in one area isn't hard enough to get this mount, you will have to enter a portal in Draenor named the Edge of Reality, which lasts for 5 minutes until it despawns if no one clicks it. To make things crappier, the shortest respawn time ever recorded for the portal to open up is 13 hours, and this portal can literally spawn in any zone, which makes it a huge pain to actually be the first one to enter the portal and get the mount, since the area that you have to patrol in 
in order to get this mount is literally the whole damn continent. To make things worse, I don't know if this is still the way it is or if it's been updated, but when this mount first became available, NPC scan would not alert or notify you if the portal was up since the portal itself is not an NPC, so players would have to resort to actually seeing these portals with their eyes rather than, you know, an add-on telling you when it's up. To get around this obstacle though, many players resorted to making macros which will trigger a sound file whenever the tooltip shows up for the portal. This means that unlike NPC scanner where you are just near the NPC and the alert rings, for the macro to actually work, your mouse cursor must be over the portal, showing the tooltip in order to trigger the sound. In addition to this, the macro will also not work if your cursor is blocked, such as if someone is standing between you and the portal that's up right now. But there is an upside though, it hasn't been 100% confirmed, but in most cases if someone does not click the portal leading you into the scenario which allows you to loot the mount, the portal will respawn after 1 hour at one of its other spawn points in Draenor. So have fun figuring out which one it is and getting there first. Number 1. The Grey Riding Camel this mount is a bitch to farm since the only way you can get it is by clicking on the mysterious camel figurine which has a 5% chance of teleporting you into an area in Feralis where you kill a rare NPC in order to actually get the mount. The hardest part of farming this mount however is finding the figurines themselves since each figurine responds in the time period of a minimum of 5 hours to a maximum of 22 hours. The figurines in themselves are stated to be as rare as Aonax or the time lost proto Drake which is it's pretty damn hard to believe, but to those of you guys who religiously have farmed this mount, not those of you guys who randomly stumbled upon a figurine and clicked it and it teleported you to Feralus, but those of you who seriously farmed this mount for a good amount of time, you can either confirm or comment your disagreement on that. In addition to this, when you click on a figurine, it has a 95% chance of dropping a pile of dust which can be vendored, and only a 5% chance of actually sending you to Feralus to kill the NPC and to get the mount. All in all, it's an average of 16 figurines giving you dust and one of those 16 statues actually teleporting you. To add more salt to your wounds though, the figurines are very small and they are not targetable, so you're most likely going to fly over them without even knowing that they're actually there or that they're anything other than seeing unless you turn on friendly unit nameplate, since even though they are just objects and not NPCs or players, they will still pop up. Anyways guys, that's 5 of several very annoying mounts to farm in WoW. If you have one of these mounts or if you have been French kissed by Lady Luck and have all 5, please comment it down below. Also in addition to the time loss proto trick, tell me other mounts that you find annoying to farm so I can put them in a future video. As always though guys, I'll see you next time.